Hangzhou Mandarin Exa O Listen local dialect slash dot Zay, formerly romanized as Hangzhou is the capital and most populous city of Zhejiang province in East China it sits at the head of Hangzhou Bay, which separates Shanghai and Ningbo. Hangzhou grew to prominence as the southern terminus of the Grand Canal and has been one of the most renowned and prosperous cities in China for much of the last millennium. The city's West Lake, a UNESCO World Heritage Site immediately west of the city, is among its best known attractions. A study conducted by PwC and China Development Research Foundation saw Hangzhou ranked first among Chinese cities of opportunity. Hangzhou is also considered a world city with a Beta Plus classification according to GAWC. Hangzhou is classified as a sub provincial city and forms the core of the Hangzhou metropolitan area, the fourth largest in China. During the 2010 Chinese census, the metropolitan area held 21.102 million people over an area of 34,585 square kilometers (13,353 square miles). Hangzhou Prefecture had a registered population of 9,018,000 in 2015. Hangzhou was repeatedly rated as the best commercial city in the mainland of China by Forbes. As the headquarters of Internet industry enterprises such as Alibaba, Hangzhou has strongly attracted people those work in Internet industry. Therefore, in the new growing cities that became popular in the 2010s, Hangzhou is one of the main representative cities. Since 2014, the rapid growth of population has caused the rapid growth of local housing prices. In September 2015, Hangzhou was awarded the 2022 Asian Games. It will be the third city in China to host the Asian Games after Beijing 1990 and Guangzhou 2010. Hangzhou, an emerging technology hub and home to the e-commerce giant Alibaba, also hosted the 11th G20 Summit in 2016. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Early History The celebrated Neolithic culture of Hemudu is known to have inhabited Yuyao, 100 kilometers (62 miles) northeast of Hangzhou, as far back as 7,000 years ago. It was during this time that rice was first cultivated in southeast China. Excavations have established that the jade carving Liangzhu culture, named for its type site just northwest of Hangzhou, inhabited the area immediately around the present city around 5,000 years ago. The first of Hangzhou's present neighborhoods to appear in written records was Yuhang, which probably preserves an old Baiyui name. Topic: Medieval History. Hangzhou was made the seat of the Prefecture of Hang in AD 589, entitling it to a city wall, which was constructed two years later. By a long-standing convention, also seen in other cities like Guangzhou and Fuzhou, the city took on the name of the area it administered and became known as Hangzhou. Hangzhou was at the southern end of China's Grand Canal which extends to Beijing. The canal evolved over centuries but reached its full length by 609. In the Tang Dynasty, Bai Juyi was appointed governor of Hangzhou. Already an accomplished poet, his deeds at Hangzhou have led to his being praised as a great governor. He noticed that the farmland nearby depended on the water of West Lake, but due to the negligence of previous governors, the old dike had collapsed, and the lake so dried out that the local farmers were suffering from severe drought. He ordered the construction of a stronger and taller dike, with a dam to control the flow of water, thus providing water for irrigation and mitigating the drought problem. The livelihood of local people of Hangzhou improved over the following years. 
Bai Juyi used his leisure time to enjoy the West Lake, visiting it almost daily. He also ordered the construction of a causeway connecting Broken Bridge with Solitary Hill to allow walking, instead of requiring a boat. He then had willows and other trees planted along the dike, making it a beautiful landmark. This causeway was later named, Bai Causeway, in his honor. It is listed as one of the seven ancient capitals of China. It was first the capital of the Wuyue Kingdom from 907 to 978 during the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. Named Xifu Shifu at the time, it was one of the three great bastions of culture in southern China during the 10th century, along with Nanjing and Chengdu. Leaders of Wuyue were noted patrons of the arts, particularly of Buddhist temple architecture and artwork. The dike built to protect the city by King Qianlu gave the Qiading its modern name. Hangzhou also became a cosmopolitan center, drawing scholars from throughout China and conducting diplomacy with neighboring Chinese states, and also with Japan, Goryeo, and the Khitan Liao dynasty. In 1089, while another renowned poet Su Shi was the city's governor, he used 200,000 workers to construct a 2.8 km miles long causeway across West Lake. The lake was once a lagoon tens of thousands of years ago. Silt then blocked the way to the sea and the lake was formed. A drill in the lake bed in 1975 found the sediment of the sea, which confirmed its origin. Artificial preservation prevented the lake from evolving into a marshland. The Su Causeway built by Su Shi, and the Bai Causeway built by Bai Juyi, a Tang dynasty poet who was once the governor of Hangzhou, were both built out of mud dredged from the lake bottom. The lake is surrounded by hills on the northern and western sides. The Baochu Pagoda sits on the Baoshi Hill to the north of the lake. Arab merchants lived in Hangzhou during the Song dynasty, due to the fact that the oceangoing trade passages took precedence over land trade during this time. There were also Arabic inscriptions from the 13th century and 14th century. During the later period of the Yuan dynasty, Muslims were persecuted through the banning of their traditions, and they participated in revolts against the Mongols. The Fenghuangxi Mosque was constructed by an Egyptian trader who moved to Hangzhou. Ibn Battuta is known to have visited the city of Hangzhou in 1345. He noted its charm and described how the city sat on a beautiful lake and was surrounded by gentle green hills. During his stay at Hangzhou, he was particularly impressed by the large number of well-crafted and well-painted Chinese wooden ships with colored sails and silk awnings in the canals. He attended a banquet held by Kirtai, the Yuan Mongol administrator of the city, who according to Ibn Battuta, was fond of the skills of local Chinese conjurers. Hangzhou was chosen as the new capital of the Southern Song dynasty in 1132, when most of northern China had been conquered by the Jurchens in the Jin Song Wars. The surviving imperial family had retreated south from its original capital in Kaifeng after it was captured by the Jurchens in the Jingkong Incident of 1127. Emperor Gaozong moved to Nanjing, then to modern Shangzhou, then to Yangzhou in 1128, and finally to Hangzhou in 1129. The Song government intended it to be a temporary capital, but over the decades Hangzhou grew into a major commercial and cultural center of the Song dynasty, rising from being a middling city of no special importance to being one of the world's largest and most prosperous. Once the prospect of retaking northern China had diminished, government buildings in Hangzhou were extended and renovated to better befit its status as a permanent imperial capital. The Imperial Palace in Hangzhou, modest in size, was expanded in 1133 with new roofed alleyways, and in 1148 with an extension of the palace walls. From 1138 until the Mongol invasion of 1276, Hangzhou remained the capital of the Southern Song dynasty and was known as Linan. 
Lin, it served as the seat of the imperial government, a center of trade and entertainment, and the nexus of the main branches of the civil service. During that time the city was a gravitational center of Chinese civilization, what used to be considered, "...central China." In the north was taken by the Jin, an ethnic minority dynasty ruled by Jurchens. Numerous philosophers, politicians, and men of literature, including some of the most celebrated poets in Chinese history such as Su Shi, Lu Yu, and Xin Qiji came here to live and die. Hangzhou is also the birthplace and final resting place of the scientist Shen Kuo (1031–1095 AD). His tomb being located in the Yuhang district during the Southern Song Dynasty, commercial expansion, an influx of refugees from the conquered north, and the growth of the official and military establishments led to a corresponding population increase, and the city developed well outside its 9th century ramparts. According to the Encyclopædia Britannica, Hangzhou had a population of over 2 million at that time, while historian Jacques Gurnet has estimated that the population of Hangzhou numbered well over 1 million by 1276. Official Chinese census figures from the year 1270 listed some 186,330 families in residence and probably failed to count non residents and soldiers. It is believed that Hangzhou was the largest city in the world from 1180 to 1315 and from 1348 to 1358 because of the large population and densely crowded, often multi-story wooden buildings. Hangzhou was particularly vulnerable to fires. Major conflagrations destroyed large sections of the city in 1132, 1137, 1208, 1229, 1237, and 1275 while smaller fires occurred nearly every year. The 1237 fire alone was recorded to have destroyed 30,000 dwellings. To combat this threat, the government established an elaborate system for fighting fires, erected watchtowers, devised a system of lantern and flag signals to identify the source of the flames and direct the response, and charged more than 3,000 soldiers with the task of putting out fire. Hangzhou was besieged and captured by the advancing Mongol armies of Kublai Khan in 1276, three years before the final collapse of the Southern Song. The capital of the new Yuan dynasty was established in the city of Dadu Beijing, but Hangzhou remained an important commercial and administrative center for their southern lands. Yuan China was very open to foreign visitors, and several returned west describing Hangzhou, under the names Qinzai, Quinsai, Kampsei, and Si, as one of the foremost cities in the world. The Venetian merchant Marco Polo supposedly visited Hangzhou in the late 13th century. In his book, he records that the city was greater than any in the world and that the number and wealth of the merchants, and the amount of goods that passed through their hands, was so enormous that no man could form a just estimate thereof. The manuscripts of Polo's account greatly exaggerate the city's size, although it has been argued that the hundred miles of walls would be plausible if Chinese miles were intended instead of Italian ones, and that the 12,000 stone bridges might have been a copyist error born from the city's twelve gates. In the 14th century, the Moroccan traveller Ibn Battuta arrived, his later account concurred that al Khanza was the biggest city I have ever seen on the face of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history The city remained an important port until the middle of the Ming Dynasty era, when its harbour slowly silted up. Under the Qing, it was the site of an imperial army garrison. In 1856 and 1860, the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom occupied Hangzhou. The city was heavily damaged during its conquest, occupation, and eventual reconquest by the Qing army. Hangzhou was ruled by the Republic of China government under the Kuomintang from 1927 to 1937 and 1945 to 1949. 
On May 3, 1949, the People's Liberation Army entered Hangzhou and the city came under communist control. After Deng Xiaoping's reformist policies began in the end of 1978, Hangzhou took advantage of being situated in the Yangtze River Delta to bolster its development. It is now one of China's most prosperous major cities. Geography <inaudible> 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 Hangzhou is located in northwestern Zhejiang Province, at the southern end of the Grand Canal of China, which runs to Beijing, in the south-central portion of the Yangtze River Delta. Its administrative area sub-provincial city extends west to the mountainous parts of Anhui Province, and east to the coastal plain near Hangzhou Bay. The city center is built around the eastern and northern sides of the West Lake, just north of the Qiading River. Climate Hangzhou's climate is humid subtropical with four distinctive seasons, characterized by long, very hot, humid summers and chilly, cloudy and drier winters with occasional snow. The mean annual temperature is 17.0 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit, with monthly daily averages ranging from 4.6 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 28.9 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit in July. The city receives an average annual rainfall of 1,438.0 mm and is affected by the plum rains of the Asian monsoon in June. In late summer August to September, Hangzhou suffers typhoon storms, but typhoons seldom strike it directly. Generally they make landfall along the southern coast of Zhejiang, and affect the area with strong winds and stormy rains. Extremes since 1951 have ranged from minus 9.6 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 6th of February 1969, up to 41.6 degrees Celsius, 107 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 9th of August 2013. Unofficial readings have reached minus 10.5 degrees Celsius, 13 degrees Fahrenheit, set on the 29th of December 1912 and the 24th of January 1916 up to 42.1 degrees Celsius 108 degrees Fahrenheit, set on 10 August 1930. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 30% in March to 51% in August, the city receives 1,709.4 hours of sunshine annually. Administrative divisions The sub-provincial city of Hangzhou comprises ten districts, one county-level city, and two counties. The ten urban districts occupy 8,292.31 square kilometers (3,201.68 square miles) and have a population of 8,241,000, in which there are six central urban districts and four suburban districts. The central urban districts occupy 706.27 square kilometers, 272.69 square miles and have a population of 3,780,000 and the suburban districts occupy 7,586.04 square kilometers, 2,928.99 square miles and have a population of 4,461,000. In the early 90s, the urban districts of Hangzhou only comprises Shangcheng, Shacheng, Gongshu, Jiangan. On December 12, 1996, Bingjiang District was established. On March 12, the city of Zhaoshan and the city of Yuhang was included into the city of Hangzhou as two districts. On December 13, 2014, and in July 2017, the city of Fuyang and Linan were included into the city of Hangzhou as two districts. Topic: 
Demographics Hangzhou City had a population of 5,162,039 including Zhaoshan and Yuhang at the 2010 census, an increase of 4.8% per year since the 2000 census. The most recent estimates of the city's urban area population are between 6,658,000 and 6,820,000. The entire province had a population of 8,700,373 at the 2010 census, and the encompassing urban agglomeration, including Shaoxing, is estimated to have population of 8,450,000. The encompassing metropolitan area was estimated by the OEC. CD Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development to have as of 2010 a population of 13.4 million although other sources put the figure at over 21 million The Hangzhou metropolitan area includes the major cities of Shaoxing, Jiaxing and Huzhou Topic Economy Hangzhou's economy has rapidly developed since its opening up in 1992. It is an industrial city with many diverse sectors such as light industry, agriculture, and textiles. It is considered an important manufacturing base and logistics hub for coastal China. In recent years, Hangzhou has seen substantial development in its financial sector, featuring for the first time in the Global Financial Centers Index in 2018 at rank 89. The 2001 GDP of Hangzhou was RMB 156.8 billion, which ranked second among all of the provincial capitals after Guangzhou. The city has more than tripled its GDP since then, increasing from RMB 156.8 billion in 2001 to RMB 1.3509 trillion in 2018 and GDP per capita increasing from United States dollars to $21,184. The city has developed many new industries, including medicine, information technology, heavy equipment, automotive components, household electrical appliances, electronics, telecommunication, fine chemicals, chemical fiber and food processing. Topic economic and Technological Development Zones Hangzhou Economic and Technological Development Zone was established and approved as a national development zone by the State Council in 1993. It covers an area of 104.7 square kilometers, 40.4 square miles. Encouraged industries include electronic information, biological medicine, machinery and household appliances manufacturing, and food processing. Hangzhou Export Processing Zone was established on April 27, 2000 upon approval of the State Council. It was one of the first zones and the only one in Zhejiang province to be approved by the government. Its total planned area is 2.92 square kilometers, 1.13 square miles. It is located close to Hangzhou Zhaoshan International Airport and Hangzhou Port. Hangzhou High Tech Industrial Development Zone was set up with approval from the State Council as a state level high tech industrial development zone in March 1991. The HHTZ is composed of three parts, with the main regions being the Zhejiang Sci Tech Industrial Park and Xiaxia Sci Tech Industrial Park. HHTZ has become one of the most influential high-tech innovation and high-tech industry bases in Zhejiang Province. As of 2013, HHTZ hosts more than 1,100 software developers and BPO enterprises. Major companies such as Motorola, Nokia and Siemens have established R&D centers in the zone. In 2011, the GDP of the zone rose by 13.1%, amounting to RMB 41.63 billion. This accounted for 5.9% of Hangzhou's total GDP. The HHTZ positions itself as the Silicon Valley of China. 
The Alibaba Group, the world's largest online B2B portal and China's largest website in terms of market value, is headquartered in the zone. In 2016, G20 Summit was held in Hangzhou. Tourism Hangzhou is known for its historic relics and natural environment. Although Hangzhou has been through many recent urban developments, it still retains its historical and cultural heritage. Today, tourism remains an important factor for Hangzhou's economy. One of Hangzhou's most popular sites is West Lake, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The West Lake cultural landscape covers an area of 3,323 hectares 8,210 acres and includes some of Hangzhou's most notable historic and scenic places. Adjacent to the lake is an area which includes historical pagodas, cultural sites, as well as the natural environment of the lake and hills, including Phoenix Mountain. There are two causeways across the lake. Other places of interest Grand Canal, also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The part of the canal in Hangzhou was built in 610 AD. To visit the core historical sites, you may take Metro Line 5 and get off at Grand Canal Station or Gongchunchou East Station the world's largest tidal bore races up the Qiading River through Hangzhou reaching up to 12 meters 39 feet in height. The residence of Hu Shuiyan located on Yuanbao Street was built in 1872 by Hu Shuiyan, a native of Anhui, a very successful businessman. It was restored and opened to the public in 2001. XIXI National Wetland Park. Established with the aim of preserving the wetland ecological system, it covers an area of about 10 square kilometers, 4 square miles. Fish ponds and reed beds have been restored and it is home to many types of birds. It holds a temple and several historic rural houses. Hangzhou Botanical Garden. Hangzhou Zoo. Old China Street on Hefang Street, Hefang Jia or Ching Hefang, literally neighborhood along the river, which offers various souvenirs. Jade Springs, Yuquan. Yufei Temple, a temple constructed during the Song Dynasty in 1221 to commemorate Yufei, which is located near the West Lake. West Lake Cultural Square is one of the tallest buildings in the city center about 160 meters 520 feet and houses the Zhejiang Natural History Museum and Zhejiang Museum of Science and Technology. Qiandao Lake is a man-made lake with the largest number of islands in Chun'an County, an administrative area of Hangzhou government. These islands are different in size and shape, and have distinctive scene. Longjing Tea Fields, west of the lake. In March 2013, the Hangzhou Tourism Commission started an online campaign via Facebook, the Modern Marco Polo campaign. Over the next year, nearly 26,000 participants applied from around the globe, in the hopes of becoming Hangzhou's first foreign tourism ambassador. In a press conference in Hangzhou on 20 May 2014, Liam Bates was announced as the successful winner and won a €40,000 contract, being the first foreigner ever to be appointed by China's government in such an official role. Religion Topic. Scenic places near West Lake Jingxiai Temple is located just south of West Lake. Lingyan Temple Souls Retreat is located about 2 km miles west of West Lake. This is believed to be the oldest Buddhist temple in the city, which has gone through numerous destruction and reconstruction cycles. Baochu Pagoda is located just north of West Lake on Precious Stone Hill. 
Baoshishan Yu Wang Temple, King Yu's Temple, or Yu Fei Miao, is on the northwest shore of West Lake. It was originally constructed in 1221 in memory of General Yu Fei, who lost his life due to political persecution. Leifeng Pagoda, located on Sunset Hill south of West Lake. Topic: Other religious buildings. Luhe Pagoda or Six Harmonies Pagoda is located on Yulin Hill on the north bank of Qiading River. Confucius Temple, Chengwangmiao City God Pavilion, located on Wushan, Wu Hill. Dreaming of the Tiger Spring. The Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Hangzhou is one of the oldest Catholic churches in China, dating back 400 years to the Ming Dynasty. Fenghuang Mosque Feng Huang Qing Jensi is one of the oldest mosques in China, the current construction at the intersection of Xihu Avenue and the Central Zhongshan Road dates back 700 years to the Yuan dynasty. Hupao Temple Hupao Islam In 1848, during the Qing dynasty, Hangzhou was described as the stronghold of Islam in China, the city containing several mosques with Arabic inscriptions. Away from Ningbo also told an Englishman that Hangzhou was the stronghold of Islam in Zhejiang province, containing multiple mosques, compared to his small congregation of around 30 families in Ningbo for his mosque. Within the city of Hangzhou are two notable mosques, the Great Mosque of Hangzhou and the Phoenix Mosque. <inaudible> Judaism As late as the latter part of the 16th and early 17th centuries, the city was an important center of Chinese Jewry, and may have been the original home of the better known Kaifeng Jewish community. There was formerly a Jewish synagogue in Ningbo, as well as one in Hangzhou, but no traces of them are now discoverable, and the only Jews known to exist in China were in Kaifeng. Christianity Two of the three pillars of Chinese Catholicism were from Hangzhou. There was persecution of Christians in the early 21st century in the city. Culture The native residents of Hangzhou, like those of Zhejiang and southern Jiangsu, speak Hangzhou dialect, which is a Wu dialect. However, Wu Chinese varies throughout the area where it is spoken, hence, Hangzhou's dialect differs from regions in southern Zhejiang and southern Jiangsu. As the official language defined by China's central government, Mandarin is the dominant spoken language. There are several museums located in Hangzhou with regional and national importance. China National Silk Museum, Zhangguo Sichou Bo Wu Guan, located near the West Lake, is one of the first state level museums in China and the largest silk museum in the world. China National Tea Museum is a national museum with special subjects as tea and its culture. Zhejiang Provincial Museum features collection of integrated human studies, exhibition and research with its over 100,000 collected cultural relics. There are lots of theaters in Hangzhou showing performance of opera shows. Yu Opera, originated from Shengzhou, Zhejiang Province, is the second largest opera form in China. Also, there are several big shows themed with the history and culture of Hangzhou like Impression West Lake and the Romance of Song Dynasty. Hangzhou has historically been an important hub for artists and scholars. In modern times, Hangzhou was home to the China Art Academy and prominent painters such as Lin Fengmian and Fang Ganmen. 
Tea is an important part of Hangzhou's economy and culture. Hangzhou is best known for originating Longjing, a notable variety of green tea, the most notable type being Shi Hu Longjing. Known as the best type of Longjing tea, Shi Hu Longjing is grown in Longjing village near Shi Hu in Hangzhou, hence its name. The local government of Hangzhou heavily invests in promoting tourism and the arts, with emphasis placed upon silk production, umbrellas, and Chinese handheld folding fans. Topic: Cuisine. Hangzhou's local cuisine is often considered to be representative of Zhejiang provincial cuisine, which is claimed as one of China's eight fundamental cuisines. The locally accepted consensus among Hangzhou's natives defines dishes prepared in this style to be fresh, tender, soft, and smooth, with a mellow fragrance. Generally, Hangzhou's cuisines tend to be sweeter rather than savory. Owing to the fact that Hangzhou is located near the Yangtze River, where the climate is mild, the local people enjoy a light diet incorporating river fishes. The rich history of the city provides the local people with stories revolving the origins of local dishes. Dishes such as Pian Er Chuan noodles, Pian Er Chuan West Lake vinegar fish, Shi Hu Ku Yu Dongpo pork, Dongpo Ru Longjing shrimp, Longjing Sha Ren beggar's chicken, Zhao Wa Ji steamed rice and pork wrapped by lotus leaves, Hei Yi Fen Zheng Ru braised bamboo shoots, Yu Men Sun lotus root pudding, O Fen and Sister Song's fish soup, Song Sao Yu Jeng are some of the better known examples of Hangzhou's regional cuisine. The famous and signature restaurants in Hangzhou include Xin Feng Restaurant, Xin Feng Xiao Kai Ji Wei Guan, Ji Wei Guan Grandma's Home, Wai Po Jia Green Tea Restaurant, Lu Cha Canting ECT. These restaurants create the advanced food and dishes of the traditional Hangzhou cuisine, and combine with the Western cooking methods. Longjing tea is the most famous green tea and ranked first among top 10 famous teas in China. Those planted by the West Lake is the best Longjing tea. Topic: Transportation. Topic: Port. The port of Hangzhou is a small river port with a cargo throughput that exceeds 100 million tons annually. Air Hangzhou is served by the Hangzhou Zhaoshan International Airport, which provides direct service to many international destinations such as Thailand, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Vietnam, Singapore, Taiwan, Netherlands, Qatar, Portugal and the United States. Regional routes reach Hong Kong and Macau. It has an extensive domestic route network within the PRC and is consistently ranked top 10 in passenger traffic among Chinese airports. Hangzhou Zhaoshan International Airport has two terminals, Terminal A and Terminal B. The smaller Terminal A serves all international and regional flights while the larger Terminal B solely handles domestic traffic. The airport is located just outside the city in the Zhaoshan district with direct bus service linking the airport with downtown Hangzhou. The ambitious expansion project will see the addition of a second runway and a third terminal which will dramatically increase capacity of the fast-growing airport that serves as a secondary hub of Air China. A new elevated airport express highway is under construction on top of the existing highway between the airport and downtown Hangzhou. The second phase of Hangzhou Metro Line 1 has a planned extension to the airport. Rail <inaudible> 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 Hangzhou sits on the intersecting point of some of the busiest rail corridors in China. 
The city's main station is Hangzhou East Railway Station, colloquially East Station, Dongzhan. It is one of the biggest rail traffic hubs in China, consisting of 15 platforms that house the high-speed CRH service to Shanghai, Nanjing, Changsha, Ningbo, and beyond. The subway station beneath the rail complex building is a stop along the Hangzhou Metro Line 1 and Line 4. There are frequent departures for Shanghai with approximately 20-minute headways from 6 o'clock to 2100. Non-stop CRH high-speed service between Hangzhou and Shanghai takes 50 minutes and leaves every hour excluding a few early morning, late night departures from both directions. Other CRH high-speed trains that stop at one or more stations along the route complete the trip in 59 to 75 minutes. Most other major cities in China can also be reached by direct train service from Hangzhou. The Hangzhou Railway Station, colloquially the City Station, Chinese Xiangzan was closed for renovation in mid-2013 but has recently opened again. Direct trains link Hangzhou with more than 50 main cities, including 12 daily services to Beijing and more than 100 daily services to Shanghai. They reach as far as Urumqi. The China Railway High Speed Service inaugurated on October 26, 2010. The service is operated by the CRH 380A L, CRH 380B L, and CRH 380CL train sets, which travel at a maximum speed of 350 km per hour (220 miles per hour), shortening the duration of the 202 km (126 miles) trip to only 45 minutes. Topic. Bus Central to the east of the city centre, taking the place of the former East Station, North, South, and West Long Distance bus stations offer frequent coach service to nearby cities, towns within Zhejiang Province, as well as surrounding provinces. Topic. Public transportation Hangzhou has an efficient public transportation network, consisting of a modern fleet of regular diesel bus, trolley bus, hybrid diesel electric bus and taxi. Hangzhou is known for its extensive bus rapid transit network expanding from downtown to many suburban areas through dedicated bus lanes on some of the busiest streets in the city. Bicycles and electric scooters are very popular, and major streets have dedicated bike lanes throughout the city. Hangzhou has an extensive free public bike rental system, the Hangzhou Public Bicycle System. <laughs> Metro The first line of the Hangzhou Metro entered into service in late 2012, with major expansion plans still ongoing. It is the 17th city in China to operate a rapid transit system. In 2018, the State Council approved the planning for 15 metro lines, including extensions to the three existing lines, scheduled to open in time for the 2022 Asian Games. By then the Hangzhou Metro network is projected to be 617 kilometers, 383 miles long. The Hangzhou Metro began construction in March 2006 and the first line opened on November 24, 2012. Line 1 connects downtown Hangzhou with suburban areas of the city from Shanghu to Wens Road and Linping. By June 2015, the southeast part of Line 2 starts in Zhaoshan District, ends to the south of the city center and a short part of Line 4 fewer than 10 stations, connecting Line 1 and Line 2 were completed. The system is expected to have 15 lines upon completion, most lines are still under construction. The extensions of Line 2 Xihu District and Line 4 east of Bingjiang were finished in 2018.
Topic: Taxis. Taxis are also popular in the city, with the newest line of Hyundai Sonatas and Volkswagen Passats, and tight regulations. In early 2011, 30 electric taxis were deployed in Hangzhou, 15 were Zodier Langyus and the other 15 were Hema Freemas. In April, however, one Zoit Langyue caught fire, and all of the electric taxis were taken off the roads later that day. The city still intends to have a fleet of 200 electric taxis by the end of 2011. In 2014, a large number of new electric taxis produced by XIHU BYD XIHU Westlake is a local company which produced televisions in the past were deployed. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Topic: <laughs> Universities Hangzhou has a large student population with many higher education institutions based in the city. Public universities include Zhejiang University, Zhejiang University of Technology, and Hangzhou Normal University etc. Xiaxia, located near the east end of the city, and Shaoheshan, located near the west end of the city, are college towns with a cluster of several universities and colleges. China Academy of Art founded in 1928 Hangzhou Dianzi University Hangzhou Normal University, founded in 1908. Zhejiang Chinese Medical University. Zhejiang Forestry University. Zhejiang Gongsheng University, founded in 1911, the earliest business school in China. Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. Zhejiang International Studies University, also known as Zhejiang Education Institute, founded in 1955 and started enrolling full-time undergraduates in 1994, got its present name in 2010. Zhejiang Sci Tech University, Zhejiang Shuren University, Zhejiang University, founded in 1897, one of the top universities in China. Project 985, Project 211, C9 League Zhejiang University City College Zhejiang University of Technology 1953. Zhejiang University of Media and Communications 1984. Note, institutions without full-time bachelor programs are not listed. Primary and secondary schools Public high schools in Hangzhou include Hangzhou West Lake High School Hangzhou No. 4 High School Hangzhou No. 14 High School Hangzhou No. 2 High School Hangzhou Foreign Language School High school attached to Zhejiang University, formerly Hangzhou No. 15 Senior High School. High school attached to Hangzhou Normal University, formerly Hangzhou No. 13 Senior High School. Hangzhou No. 11 High School. Hangzhou No. 1 High School. Hangzhou No. 7 High School. Hangzhou Shuijin High School. Hangzhou No. Nine high school private high schools in Hangzhou include Hangzhou Green Town Yuha School, Hangzhou Chinese International School, RDFZ Kings College School, Hangzhou International School, Wellington College International, Hangzhou and Hangzhou Japanese School, Hangzhou Ri Ben Ren Shui Shao Nihonjin Gakko serve the local expat population in Hangzhou. Topic: Twin towns, sister cities. Hangzhou is twinned with. Topic: Chinese sayings. 
A common Chinese saying about Hangzhou and Suzhou is, Paradise above, Suzhou and Hangzhou below. Simplified Chinese, Shang Yu Tian Tang Sha Yu Su Hang. Traditional Chinese, Shang Yu Tian Tang Sha Yu Su Hang. This phrase has a similar meaning to the English phrases, Heaven on Earth. Marco Polo in his accounts described Suzhou as, The City of the Earth, while Hangzhou is, The City of Heaven. The city presented itself as paradise on earth during the G20 summit held in the city in 2016. Another popular saying about Hangzhou is Be born in Suzhou, live in Hangzhou, eat in Guangzhou, die in Luzhou. Simplified Chinese, Sheng Zai Su Zhou Huo Zai Hang Zhou Kai Zai Guang Zhou Si Zai Lu Zhou Traditional Chinese, Sheng Zai Su Zhou Huo Zai Hang Zhou Kai Zai Guang Zhou Si Zai Lu Zhou The meaning here lies in the fact that Su Zhou was renowned for its beautiful and highly civilized and educated citizens, Hang Zhou for its scenery, Guang Zhou for its food, and Lu Zhou of Guangxi for its wooden coffins which supposedly halted the decay of the body likely made from the camphor tree topic notable residents jack ma co-founder and executive chairman of the alibaba group zong Qinghao, entrepreneur founder chairman and ceo of the hangzhou wahaha group Sun Yang, Olympic gold medalist and competitive swimmer. Yi Shiwen, Olympic gold medalist and competitive swimmer. Wu Yibing, world number one in the ITF juniors ranking and professional tennis player. Topic. See also. Historical capitals of China. Jiangnan List of cities in the People's Republic of China by population Suzhou numerals, in the Unicode Standard Version 3.0, these characters are incorrectly named Hangzhou-style numerals <laughs> Notes <laughs>